Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily use Spotify on any Linux distribution, either through a web browser or using a dedicated desktop application. So the first method we're going to cover is to use the service through a web browser. Now, I personally use Chrome, but really any web browser that's supported on Linux should work. All you need to do is simply navigate to Spotify's main site, sign into your account, and Actually, as expected, the experience is going to be the same as on running on Windows or indeed any other desktop operating systems. Really, there's not really much more to say about this. So the second method is to use a dedicated desktop application and it's a little bit more involved. Now, luckily, there is a official Linux version of Spotify available, although it is typically distributed as either a snap or a dev package and it's designed for Ubuntu based distributions. However, I would recommend avoiding this option, mainly because there's a better one that's supported in all Linux distributions, not just ones based on Ubuntu. I'm referring to, of course, the Spotify Flatpak, which is kind of packaged in the same thing, really. It's just in a more universal way, so that it can be used on any Linux distribution that supports Flatpak, which is pretty much all of them. However, first of all, we need to enable support for Flatpak for your particular system, which is dead easy to do. On the main page, you want to click on the option here where it says set up flat hub. And then from the list that's available, choose a distribution that refers to your installation. In my case, I use Ubuntu. So let's click on the Ubuntu option. And then really it's a matter of just following the instructions here whenever it's relevant. I also recommend that once you've installed everything, for good measure, just reboot your machine. That being said, if you're running either Fedora, Linux Mint, Pop OS or really any other Linux distribution that has support for Flatpak outside of the box, then you can skip this step. So now that we've enabled Flatpak support, we can move on to installing Spotify. And the way you do this couldn't be easier. Literally click on the big button here where it says install, and that should pop up in your application installer. Now alternatively, if you want to install it using terminal commands, then you can do that as well. Click on the blue down arrow, and then copy and paste this command here where it says flatback install flathub.com dot Spotify client. But in either case, once the installation is finished, then simply launch Spotify as you normally would do through your application launcher. And unsurprisingly, much like the web version of Spotify, the experience with the desktop application is almost identical to using it on Windows. In fact, the only difference I've ever really found is that sometimes the Linux version of Spotify may lag behind when it comes to implementing new features, but this really only applies to the desktop application as the web version will always be up to date. But overall, using Spotify and Linux is an excellent experience. All the features are supported and then everything works as it should. So in conclusion, using Spotify on Linux could not be easier. As much like on Windows, you've got two options, play for your browser or have a dedicated standalone desktop application. In either case, thank you very much for watching this video today. And if you did find it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll catch you again very, very soon. Goodbye now.